guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm coming back on to do another two page 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. And again, this is going in the wedding album that I'm making. And just in case no one knows, and I don't think very many people know, this is for my daughter's wedding scrapbook is what it's for and she will have been married two years this Halloween she got married on Halloween so that's what I'm working on and you're going to see me switch back and forth in between this wedding album layout and then other things from my daughter's childhood. Now, um, my daughter, Sydney, is mine and my husband's only child yeah, ever. And my husband and I have been married 29 years here in just a couple of weeks. <laughs> so we were fortunate enough to have a child, and she is our miracle baby who is... Um, 24 years old and I'll talk a little bit more about her in this layout it's kind of a lengthy layout because I did a lot of images and it's a very emotional layout for me so bear with me please so we'll get started I used a background piece of paper that has white, black, and gray in it that is 12 by 12 and it's a real thin flimsy type of paper and then I use this black cardstock that is cut at 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters and then I cut this white background layer that is cut at 11 and a half by 11 and a half and this comes from it's called a note card and it comes from a Cricut cartridge one cut note cards so that's what I've got there so um, trying to see which image I want to start with first I think I'll go with my fence post or gate <laughs> whatever you want to call it and I'm going to look for this in my notes the, okay I found it in my notes here it's cut at 11 and a half by 4 that's 11 and a half wide the first measurement I give is always wide the second measurement I always give is high and if that ever changes I will say so and I ran this through my creative station so I could get some adhesive on the back of it and as you just saw I had some issues pulling that off <laughs> and this image comes from the ornamental iron Cricut cartridge so hopefully I won't have the same image pulling my cardstock off of this but we'll see <laughs> shortly. One of the things I do on all of these intricate images is try to pull the paper off instead of the cardstock. So what I'm going to do is start laying this down on my page. And this is the left side. And I'm not going to start at the bottom. I'm going to kind of start about a quarter of a way quarter of the way up if I can speak okay I'm having issues getting the rest of my image off okay there we go I may have to glue a little bit of that down because it ripped my cardstock ripped in two. Yep, we're just going to go ahead and pull that layer off. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So there we go. And I did this fence fence topper in a, a really a medium to dark gray cardstock. So I'm happy with that. Well, since we're going with aggravating layers, let's go ahead and go with the title. It's called You and Me, and it's cut in an orange cardstock and then a green layer of cardstock. And you might not be able to see through the plastic here, but on this green layer, I have used Wink of Stella. And I think my husband just walked in. So if someone yells, please excuse the noise. I'm not for sure if they will or not. So we'll see here. And this orange cardstock, Oh, it has had me in tears for two days. It typically, this is a very large image or two-page scrapbook layout with images that I'm using. I mean, it's massive in size. And even when they're this big, I typically can have it all cut out and put together if I'm not filming. Filming obviously adds some time. But I can have it cut out, paper pieced together, and put together on my scrapbook pages within about four or five hours tops. Not this one. Had it cut out as normal. But some of the cardstock that I used, and it's cardstock that I have it used in years and I bought some and opened up a fresh package to use it and it is oh, horrid it it oh my goodness oh my goodness did I ever need to have a drink of wine maybe four <laughs> with this freaking cardstock hit was the death of me and it's a bazel and years ago bazel cardstock was the cardstock to have and it's what you should have used not today let me tell you bazel cardstock obviously changed manufacturers and i'm going to go on a little rant right here and it's it is wretched Worst cardstock I've ever had to deal with. I actually threw the rest in the trash can. And my um, garbage pickup is on Friday. So it's all gone. Every pack I ever bought. And I had several packages that I never opened up to use. And opened up to use this orange. And I did it with the you and me. And tried to do it with some of the other orange images on my layout. And I was in tears. It was so horrible. It's so fibrous, the paper is. It cuts like construction paper. Which is a freaking no-no. So... Never, ever, ever use Bazell cardstock ever in my lifetime again. It was wretched. So, there's my rant. There's my tangent. And I promise I'll stop now. I really do. I promise. Even though I want to keep going. Then I have a 4x6 photo mat. And the black layer of my photo mat is cut at four and a quarter by six and a quarter and it also comes from the Cricut cartridge one cut note cards and then I backed it with the orange layer that is six and a half by four and a half so I'm going to lay this down on my page I'm 
put it right about there. And because I had so many problems with this cardstock, I did do a ton of print and cut images. And I just lost one of them that I was wanting to use right here. Let me see. I found it <laughs> because I did it on my uh, X, X Xeron sticker maker, which is awesome. And these are um, little berry sprays. And all of my flower images, or I believe all of them, come from the Cricut Cartridge Flower Market. And you can only get it from a close to my heart representative. And it is an amazing cartridge. I bought... I just bought this cartridge myself about three or four months ago and I am having an absolute blast using this cartridge. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you guys need to find a close to your close to my heart representative and buy this cartridge. <laughs> so you won't find it in Cricut if you search for it in Design Space or in Access. If you don't own the cartridge, it will not show up, period. So you've got to go find a Close to My Heart representative today. And if any of my viewers are Close to My Heart representatives, please leave your link down in the comments below. That would be amazing and everybody needs to know and own this cartridge. Flower Market is what it's called. It's exceptional. Now I have some um, pumpkins here and these come from Photo Paper Play Cartridge Autumn Day and I've got those cut at 3.62 inches wide by 3.02 inches high and they come together like this but they cut separately obviously so this one I am going to lay down flat I have no idea what's all over the back of the cardstock there. <laughs> but there's something. <laughs> Thank goodness you can't see it. And I'm going to put it right up at the top here. Right there. Now this one, I it's double layered too. And I've got it popped up on some foam tape. And I've used tons and tons and tons of foam tape in this layout. Just so everyone knows, I'm going to place it right there. So we're coming together here. My next image that I want to lay down is my haystack. And this comes from the Cricut Cartridge Old West. I have inked around almost every image and done lots of different things with the ink all over the cardstock as well. And um, my haystack is cut at 5.71 inches wide by 3.07 inches high. And I'm going to lay this one down flat. I used some WD-40 on my ATG gun and it's not quite as squeaky as it used to be still squeaky enough <laughs> but not as bad as it used to be and because of all the cardstock images I did do a lot of print and cut I don't know if I shared that with you guys or not because I was so freaking frustrated with all of my cardstock issues that I went back and did a bunch of them in print and cut so I didn't have to deal with all of those images here I have this little mason jar that says love 
with a little black ribbon tied around it that I used Wink Estella on. And then these are like golden rods. And um, the golden rods are cut at 1.35 inches wide by 3.41 inches high. And I cut two of those. These also come from the Close to My Heart cartridge flower market. And my mason jar can, comes from the exact same cartridge. And it is cut at 1.36 inches wide by 2.42 inches high. And I have it all popped up on thumb tape. And I'm going to lay it right down here. And then I have a set of three pumpkins. And you won't believe what cartridge this comes from. <laughs> it's not close to my heart cartridge. It's actually a Disney cartridge. It's Disney Poon Friends cartridge. And this is all a uh, paper piece together. And the three little pumpkins. And they're cut at 4.04 inches wide by 3.27 inches high. And I'm going to set those right here on my hell, Bay of Hell <laughs> as well. And then... I have a little leaf that also comes from Close to My Heart Flower Market Cartridge. And this leaf is cut at 2.72 inches wide by 1.68 inches high. And I ran it through my Xyron sticker maker. And I'm going to place it right about here. and do that and then I have another little berry sprig that I'm going to place down as well on here and this one is cut um, oh let me go to my next I've got two pages of notes on this layout and I typically only have one and this berry sprig blah, 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 is cut at, um, oh, this is the one that's cut at 3.29 inches wide by 1.81 inches high. This little baby one here is cut at 1.75 by 2.75. So I'm going to put my little baby sprig right down here too. And I'm wanting to, to, to come over everything as well. I did use my Wink Estella on the golden rods. I don't know if I said that or not. But this is coming out super cute. And this layout is a complete and total representation. Representation. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. <coughs> Of what the chapel looked like that my where my daughter got married and how we had it decorated so I'm so excited for this layout so I've got the next page over here coming so let me move this one out of the way and let's bring in the second page Okay, I have my second page here. I did the exact same way with all the layers and the same dimensions. And the next thing that I have that I am going to lay down is some gate post that I've done. And these also come from the Ornamental Iron Cricut Cartridge. And they, I have two of them, and they're cut at four and a half wide by 6.13 inches high. And I put those on my uh, Creative Sticker Maker as well. So I'm going to pull these off, and it's a very intricate cut. And my Cricut cut them beautifully when you have the proper cardstock and not that basil crap basil 
I'm sorry, I keep ranting about it, but basil used to be so good, <laughs> and it has become so bad. <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so unlike me. I'm not a complainer, typically. <laughs> Okay, I'm just pulling the backing off of this side to get it off here. And I almost have it. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to lay this one up on the top right hand side of my page to start with. And I'm lining it up right with the black border or the black cardstock that I have laid down. And there we go. Looking very pretty. And this very much mimics. Looks just like it because we had same gates. They were actually wrought iron um, for this wedding layout. So, and they look so much like it that it is almost scary. <laughs> so, now here's my next one. Oh, I ripped the little curly cue off the top. So, I'm going to have to put that on. There it is. It goes right there. So, there we go. Can't hardly even tell that I ripped it. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> okay. Now, the next thing I have is some more haystacks and these are cut from that same cartridge Old West but these are cut at 4 inches by 2.08 inches and I did a little bit of doodling, doodling with my black glaze pen and these are paper pieced so I'm going to lay these down flat Put one right there. Then I have a second one cut the exact same way. Right about there. And I have a third. <laughs> so, and I'm going to lay it down flat as well. And I'm going to put it on top of my other haystacks, right in the center. And I did my black glaze pen doodling on all of those. Did it on the large one, too, on the other layout. I have another photo mat that is cut the exact same way um, that will hold a 4x6 photo. And I'm going to put it right in the bottom center. I'm going to put it right there. And then I have another mason jar cut the exact same dimensions. And then I put some little yellow sprigs of flowers in there. And these also come from the Close to My Heart uh, flower market cartridge. And um, the little flowers are cut at 1.75 inches by 2.75 inches. And then I use some of my uh, Crystal Nouveau drops in the center and also used Wink Costella on them as well. And the little Nouveau drops just made them pop. And I really like that. 
and I've got this popped up on foam tape, all of it. So I'm going to pull the backing off my foam tape here really quickly. And I'm going to put this little mason jar right here on top of this haystack or hay bale, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then I have a little pot of potted flowers in a little, um, shoot, what are those little clay pots called? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And then I used a little bit of my white jelly roll pen and highlighted around it and inked around the little flowers. And I have this popped up on foam tape as well. My little potted flowers here, my little clay pot uh, flowers comes from Kate's ABCs. It's cut at 1.97 inches wide by two and a half inches high. And most all of my images do come from the close to my heart flower market cartridge. If you don't have a close to my heart, like I said earlier, consultant, you need to find one and you need to get this cartridge. It's amazing. It has hundreds upon hundreds of images in it and, and it's very versatile. So I'm going to put that little um, terracotta, that's what it's called, the little terracotta, terracotta pot of flowers right there. And then I have some more of the little berry sprigs that I'm going to put down. And then I have the little leaf sprig. And my little leaf sprig comes from close to my heart, Flower Market Cartridge. They're cut at 2.72 inches wide by 1.68 inches high. And I'm going to pop a little bit of wet glue on the back of this. And I'm going to see, I'm going to put this one under that one. And then the little flower sprig that is cut exactly the same way same size as the one I shared on the other page. I'm going to put it right over here as well. And then I have another little fern sprig that I'm going to use here. And I'm going to do it with wet glue as well. And I forgot to write down the dimensions of this, but I do know that it's slightly smaller than the one I just talked about. And it also comes from the Close to My Heart Flower Market cartridge. I'm going to put it right there. And then I have another little berry sprig as well that I am going to put down with some wet glue. I'm just tucking them under the bottom of my little pots there. <clears throat> now, the next thing that I have to lay down is another little three bunch of the pumpkins. And um, these are just like the other three on the other page that comes from the Disney Pooh and Friends cartridge and these are cut a little smaller so let me see how much how much how big I cut those those are it is cut at three and a quarter inches wide by one and well I thought it was one let me see. 
I lied, by two and three quarters inches high, and I have it popped up on foam tape. I am in ultra love with this layout. It has turned out so cute and just the way I imagined it and I wanted it to lay out. <laughs> so that's always cool, right? <laughs> and now I have some little uh, pumpkins that I want to lay down and I've got four of them. And these are paper pieced together, and then I use some shimmer mist to spray on those to make them all sparkly and pretty. And I've got some of them popped up on foam tape, and some of them that I'm just going to lay down flat. And these come; these are cut. They come two to a two to an image. And I cut them at 2.27 by 2.25. And these come from the J. Good Design Celebrate the Season Cricut Cartridge. So what I'm going to do is lay the big pumpkin down flat. I'm going to put it over here. I want my little ferns and berry twigs to come in front of it. And then I'm going to take the foam tape off of this one and put it right beside, right like so. And then I'm going to lay this one down flat. And put it right here on this side and then this one I have popped up on foam tape so I'm going to remove the backing of that and I, I'm going to put it right there <clears throat> now I have more of these two sets of pumpkins that I've made here are cut out and they come two together and they're cut at 3.62 by 3.02 and these come from the Cricut Cartridge Photo Paper Play Autumn Day and I'm going to lay these down here at the bottom and I'm going to lay them both down flat. that one there and these are all paper pieced together put that one there oh my it just started raining very big outside <laughs> and then I'm going to put this one right here <clears throat> and then I have these little flower sprigs these come from the um, close to my heart Cricut cartridge flower market I cut those at 3.16 wide by 3.01 high and I also use my Crystal Nouveau drops on the little dots of the balls of these flowers and in the centers. And I use my green ones and I think it turned out so cute. I love the way they look. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of these and I'm just going to try to angle it in here a little bit. And I'm going to do that on both of these. And then on the yellow flower itself, I also, oh, also sprayed it with my shimmer mist as well. I'm going to put that one 
right there and I'm going to cut off the bottom of these little twigs that are hanging over my paper so that it'll fit on there and before I forget I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue to make sure those little strips stay down since I didn't put any on there. That one's going to be okay because I got it tucked behind my pumpkin. So I am just loving this layout. It's a huge file and it took quite a bit of time but it turned out so cute and it is so so worth it it's going to be my favorite page in this layout or in this scrapbook i think so i hope you guys give it a try and hope you like what i've created again another very unique wedding layout we'll talk again real soon cheers